Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 in module 6 we are working on lesson number 21 and that makes the, means that we are making sense of complex multi-step problems and we are persevering in solving them. So let's take a look at one problem from tonight's homework. There are only a couple on tonight's homework so I'm going to do one of those problems uh, to its completion. So let's take a look. We've got uh, a problem here that says Sarah travels twice as far as Eli when going to camp. Ashley travels as far as Sarah and Eli together. Hazel travels three times as far as Sarah. In total, all four travel 888 miles to camp. How far does each of them travel? Oh, boy. Now, let's see. I have to think about it. We've read this problem. Now we're going to need to draw this problem, and then we'll need to write our answer. So let's think about the drawing. So let's see. We've got... I'm going to do tape diagrams. I've got Sarah, and I've got, let's see, Eli, and I've got Ashley, and I've got Hazel. So let's see, how far do each of them travel? Well, let's see, none of them, we're not, we're not given any numbers about how, each, how far each of them travel. We're just given this overall number. So let's start doing a tape diagram and see if we can make sense of it that way. So Sarah travels twice as far as Eli. So let's see, if I had Eli traveling exactly this far, then Sarah would need to be twice as far as that. So I'm going to just do two of those units, right? Let's see, so does that make sense? Sarah travels twice as far as Eli. Okay, so if Eli travels this far, Sarah travels twice as far. Okay. Ashley travels as far as Sarah and Eli together. Oh, Sarah and Eli together. Well, that's three of these. So Ashley travels three of those distances, right? One, two, three. Okay. And let's see. So let's see. The last part. Hazel travels three times as far as Sarah. Well, tra Sarah traveled two of those big units, and Hazel travels three times as far as Sarah. So I think that means Hazel travels six of those units. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So we're going to pretend that my uh, drawing here was impeccable and that each of these is exactly the same size. So Sarah twice as much as Eli, Ashley as far as those two put together, and Hazel is three times as much as Sarah. So let's see, how many of those boxes do we have? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve boxes. Oh, and we're told that in total, okay, so in total, this is 888 miles. Well, let's see, if these are twelve boxes of the same size, and together, the repeated addition of this, plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this, all add up to 888, then I think we're saying that if we divided up those 888 miles into 12 equal parts, we would know what each of these little individual parts was, and then we'd be able to figure out um, the totals. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. I'm going to go ahead and shrink this a little bit so I can do my long division. Uh, let's see. The first thing I need to do is I need to figure out, let's see, uh, how many 12s, uh, how many, we have 88 10s, how many groups of 12 can we make? Let's see. Uh, 88, hmm, I think we can make seven groups. Let's see, seven times two is four, seven times one is seven, plus one is eight. That means we've got four tens left over. Let's see, now we're going to use those four tens to make 40 ones plus the eight ones from here, 48 ones. How many groups of 12 ones can we make? Oh, let's see, we can make four groups. Let's see, four times two is eight, four times one is four. Sure, sure enough, that's it. So it looks like each of these boxes is 74. So I'm going to zoom back out here and start working with those. So I'm going to look at another way of saying that. So this is 74, and this is 74, and this is 74, 74, 74. Each of these boxes we figured out is exactly 74 miles long. And you don't necessarily have to write these all in, but I'm, it's going to help to remind me. Let's see, now I can start figuring out how far each of them went. Let's see, this one I think I can do is mental math. Sarah, let's see, 74, two copies of 74 is 148. Uh, let's see, Eli is already there, 74. Uh, three copies of 74, let's see, that would be 222, I believe. Uh, let's see, the next one, see, oh boy, I'm not sure I can do this one in my head. Six times 74, let's just go ahead and do that one. Yeah, this multiplication. 6 times 74 is 4. 2, 42 is 44. So 444. So let's see, does that make sense? So Sarah traveled this far, and Eli traveled this far, and Ashley traveled that far, and finally um, 
Hazel traveled this far, would we add up to that total? And I think you'll find, we can check our work, but I think you'll find that all of these mileages make sense. So this is 148 miles, 74 miles, 222 miles, and 444 miles. Wow! So even without knowing at the outset exactly how many miles any single one of them traveled, because we knew their sort of relative amounts, um, Sarah twice as much as Eli, Ashley as much as the other two, Hazel three times as much as Sarah, since we knew those relative amounts, we could figure out what each of those blocks were in our tape diagram. And once we had that, we had pretty much simple addition problems and one multiplication problem, we were good to go. So I'm pretty satisfied that we solved this one. Thanks so much for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.